I think we spoke just when you arrived at the club. So I wonder um, what's your overall impression of being a Celtic player over the past um, few months? Right. No, it's been great. I've been having so much fun. It's been um, really cool getting to know the girls and obviously playing has been amazing. Um, like for me, just getting in and getting some time on the field has been great. And yeah, just getting to know like the city of Glasgow, like I'd never been to Scotland. And so just getting in like the culture and everything has been, it's been really cool. Um, you were doing the tour of Celtic Park um, <laughs> the other day. Um, did you learn more about the club from doing that? And it was it quite a good thing for the, the team spirit of the girls? Yeah, definitely. We, I learned a lot. I think everybody did because we were talking about it um maybe a couple of weeks ago about just like the history of the club and kind of how the internationals didn't know like as much about the history of it as like the girls that obviously grew up here with it so that was really cool to like go see the trophy room and just learn about like all the different trophies all the history throughout it it was it was really cool and there's one trophy in particular in that trophy room that stands out more than others for yourself the league cup yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was really cool too to like be talking about trophies from like 19, you know, whatever from like 100 years ago and then all of a sudden like come to ours and they, I think you guys will recognize this one where you're like, oh, this is so cool just to be part of the club's history and I next week, that. make sure that you're getting friends or family to record the game yeah. against Hibs because that is going to be a career highlight for, for you. You'll just absolutely yeah. love it. Yes, no, it's going to be so cool. We are so excited. Like, obviously, we, like, come in and out of the stadium most days and, like, get to see the atmosphere. And we've been to the men's games and stuff. And so we could not be more excited to get on the pitch and play. Can I ask you about the the game last Sunday? Um, mm -hmm. When I thought the, the team, the resilience was brilliant, one of our best performances of the season. I thought we were we had everything except a rub of the green. Um, right. And I thought the team were absolutely brilliant. And we didn't win the game, circumstances really, and the goalkeeper thing, the referee, etc. But even in defeat, you must have all been proud of that performance. Yeah, I think so. I think obviously, yeah, it's it does obviously it stings a little bit when you play. I mean, I think our second half was a lot better than the first. Our resilience resilience was really good. Um, like you said, and coming back and getting a goal in the second half and then having a couple more chances that were pretty clear chances, hitting off the crossbar, you know, just kind of unlucky things. Um, but yeah, considering the circumstances, I think we, we bounced back really well. And I mean, that's kind of how this group is. We just will work until the final whistle and that's what we did. So, I mean, there's not a lot more, I don't think that we could have done effort wise with the girls. So at least we can take that away from it and yeah, no, we, we were resilient. What about the game on Sunday? We've got a home game against Motherwell. Mm -hmm. And the league is pretty much we're going to be third. Um, but there's still a lot to play for as we look forward to the Scottish Cup. Two cups in one season would be amazing. Yes, yes, it would be incredible. Yeah, so now that's all our focus is on obviously winning out these next few games in the league and then winning the cup also because obviously that would make history as well so if that's what we're playing for then we're going to do everything that we can to win it so see when we're back to the first question i asked you when you were coming to celtic you obviously would have had expectations and have they been surpassed and in terms of what's actually happened um yeah i think that i think um I think this game against Hibs at the stadium will be like a really big like defining moment for me here because I think obviously it's hard when we play our home games at Airdrie. It's pretty far. It's outside of Glasgow. So that makes it kind of tough for a lot of fans to come out. So I think like my perception of the club is like a really incredible fan base, you know, an incredible atmosphere um, at all the games. So I think getting as many people to come out to our game is I mean, will be huge. So, and like really help the girls because that's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a really good game. So, we really hope that people will come out to it so we can see what it's like to play, you know, at Paradise. So, I think that will be really defining. Well, if you remember back to the League Cup semi final against Hibs and over at Fourth Bank, 
good game and yeah. real two good teams. Hibs are a good team, you know, it will be a yeah. competitive match. Yeah, no, every time, I think every time we've played them, it's been a one goal difference. If, yeah, because that game, I think we came back from behind in the semi, oh. yeah, to win it. And then last time we played them, I think it maybe ended in a tie. So it will be a really good game. So I think obviously being in the stadium, it will be huge to like have fans like cheering us on and helping us, you know, go through that. And hopefully we can give them a good game and a lot of stuff to cheer for.